Hey everyone, Austin uh, with Sun Fun Kiss. Been a little while since we did a video, so I guess I'd uh, figure I'd uh, let you know guys what we're working on. Considering uh, everything is out of stock, <laughs> we're hoping we get some some ready by uh, next Friday. Anyway, let's just talk about some of the stuff we're working on in terms of integration and so on and so forth. All right. So let's first begin about some of the new things that we're going to be adding. So one of the things we're going to be adding is a hardware port for hard link for kits as well as their pre-built batteries. So you're still going to be able to use Bluetooth and you can disconnect the Bluetooth that if you'd like. But as we get more into inverter integrations and stuff like that, some people are going to want to have a hard link so they can have a permanent connection to their battery and their BMS and use it to integrate with different type of, um, you know, with, with different type of inverters and uh, so on and so forth. So because of that, um, it's important to s set up some sort of hard link. Now, let's see how this all is set up. So as you can see, we have a wire connected to the RS-485 port of the BMS, and that's going to allow us to get data. And then that is connected on the back side to this really nice <coughs> water-resistant RJ45 switch. And on the outside, it looks sort of like this. Now, it has a water-resistant gasket around it and also has a seal that you can use to uh, protect it when not in use. And that's going to uh, make it suitable for high moisture environments. You can plug a standard RJ45 Ethernet based cable in here and it connects just fine. And that's going to give you a nice connection. But if you're in a situation where you might be noticing, hey, um, it can get wet. We also have a custom cable that we can create. And as you can see here, this is a RJ45 with a nice water resistant jacket. What actually is, 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 is that this port has about two O-rings inside it. And when utilizing this port, sorry. Utilizing this port, we have a hard link that now also makes it moisture resistant. So that will give you a nice water resistant hard link to your battery. So how is all this going to sort of work? You may be asking next. Well, the way it's going to work is you with hard link you can connect up to 16 batteries. And this is not our final version. We're going to be uh, producing a, a slightly better version, but it is basically an RS-485 link connected to a basic RS-485 RS to USB, which is then connected to a USB hub, then connected to the Android device. Now, once that connection is set up, we can then put supplementary devices into our USB hub, any USB hub. In this case, we're using a USB to CAN bus adapter, which would then connect to the Serbo GX for like a Victron system. So what all this basically does is, if say you have a 16 port USB hub, you can connect 16 batteries, configure them with the app, which is not quite ready yet, but will be soon, and then send that information over to a Servo GX using, CAN, using the CAN bus port. And the reason we're doing it this way is because based on our development with the Victron stuff, if you go through the CAN bus, all the options are available. If you set it up as a Bluetooth battery or as a D bus battery, certain things aren't working correctly like the solar panel uh, chargers can't be turned on or off as smoothly so using the CAN bus seems to be the most important and all we have to do is convert USB to CAN bus which we can do with pretty much any standard little USB to CAN bus adapter but anyway you'll be able to connect four batteries via Bluetooth in that case you wouldn't have a connection here they would just connect to an Android device or an iOS device and then 
with the USB plugged in, you would then have a wire going to like a servo and the servo would receive data from, um, from the system. And once done, you'll be able to send battery information over to the servo. And so your Victron equipment will basically have um, that information. Um, anyway, that's just a little bit of update. I know we haven't been releasing videos. We've been busy building batteries, but I wanted to show you what was going on so that you have a better understanding. Oh, by the way, this to disconnect this one, it's a nice switch. So you just press that down and it will, it will release. So you've got a nice lever for this. So this is a nice heavy duty thing. And only different, the only thing is we have to make these to length. So if you needed a one that's water resistant or it's very dusty and you want a dust protection, this is going to be it. But for everybody else, I think this basic sort of, um, adapter should should work fairly well all right thank you